Now it's time for the breaking news. Sophia Nygaard visited Portland. I think we were capturing that Portland outdoorsy feel, even if I'm not really equipped for mountain life. That's all there is to that story. Now on to the new releases. The Sims 4 Pets just got released. I told myself I wasn't going to buy it, but it went on sale, and I have no self-control. I made Einstein in the game, though. Look at him. Adorable! And now it's time for the foreign language of the day. Let's see what it is. Ah, yes. Spanish. Que bueno. One thing I thought I'd do, since I've been learning Spanish for a while, is to test my Spanish knowledge using the internet. So, this is the website testervocab.com. You just check off boxes and it tests your English vocab knowledge. For example, I know what like and think and go mean, but I don't, maybe don't know what inveigle means, so I wouldn't check that, so basically you continue, and based off of how many words you knew previously, you check off more words, and then it, uh, it tells you your <laughs> approximate English knowledge based on how complicated the words you selected were. So I thought it would be fun to do this with, like, Spanish, so if I look at the word like, I know that the Spanish word for like is gustar, so I would check it, and I would keep going on like that, um, and that might potentially tell me how many Spanish words I know. Maybe there's a problem with using this method, but I'm gonna try it and see what happens. <laughs> gustar, pensar, ir, ver, el, aquí, después, preguntar. Proximo, pagar, uh, mientras, esperar, cerca, or cerco, mañana, yet again, cerca, acerca, anillo is like a ring you put on your finger. I don't know, ring is in like, ring someone up, I guess it would be llamar, pes, llegar, Surgir. Um, I don't know suit. Uh, brillante. I don't know tool. Luna. I don't know soul. Constraint. Clay. Stance. Meadow. I'm probably not going to get any of these. I think the Spanish word for ostrich is just ostrich. Uh, sapling. I don't think Spanish actually has a word for sapling. I think they <laughs> literally say arbol joven, young tree. So I'm gonna check that one. Um, <laughs> because I played Minecraft in Spanish. Uh, in Vigil, in Vigil, I have no idea what that means. Bloat, verder, ledger domain, I guess. <laughs> And sparge, yeah. So, this is my step one. Ah, oh, jeez. Lawn. Césped. Afeitar. Afeitarse. Clutch. Scrub. Handsome. Ooh. Guapo. Got, got one. Uh, loot. Ooh. Caja de... Loot. I knew this. So there were loot boxes <laughs> in that screen. In cualquier caso, gracias por ver. Yo abro una nueva caja de botín cada miércoles, entonces hasta luego. Uh, crap. What are they? In my last video, caja de botín. Botín is loot. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is really sad. <laughs> I can only get a few words on this one. Uh, survey results. I'm not going to complete that. 3,700 words. Almost 3,800 words. That's not very good. Yo no 
puedo hablar español. <laughs> uh, no soy hispano hablante. That's okay. And now on to sports. Overwatch League has been kicking up a storm lately. Overwatch League is the first major esports league with city based teams, according to their website. Teams around the globe are competing to win the first season of competitive Overwatch. With real crowds. With real commentators. It's all very official. Personally, I'm rooting for London Spitfire, because I was able to buy the London Spitfire skin for one of my main heroes, Moira. And it looks... ridiculous. Surprisingly though, London Spitfire is doing incredibly well, currently ranked second among the 12 teams. Also, it appears Gaguri might become the first female pro Overwatch player. So that's pretty cool. And now on to the funnies. Look at this doodle I made in class. Hilarious. And now for a brief reading of the random Wikipedia article of the day. George Edmund Foss. He was born on July 2nd, 1863, in Berkshire, Vermont. He was a brother of Eugene Noble Foss. Foss attended the common schools and graduated from Harvard University in 1885. He attended Columbia Law School and the School of Political Science at Columbia University in New York City. In 1889, he graduated from Union College of Law at Chicago, Illinois, was admitted to the bar, and commenced the practice of law in Chicago. Foss was elected as a Republican to the 54th and eight succeeding Congresses. He served as chairman of the Committee on Naval Affairs. He was an unsuccessful candidate for re-election in 1912. Foss was elected to the 64th and 65th Congresses. He was not a candidate for renomination to Congress in 1918, but was an unsuccessful candidate for nomination to the United States Senate. He resumed the practice of law. He was an unsuccessful candidate for nomination in 1932 to the 73rd Congress. He died on March 15, 1936, in Chicago, Illinois, and was interred in Graceland Cemetery. This has been The Roast of George Edmund Foss. Jeez, it just brings up his failures and shortcomings. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Who wrote this? Thank you for watching Channel 5 News. Why are you watching this? I just thought of a great pun. You used to be in Oregon, but now you're Oregon. You hear me?